Hi everyone, in this video we'll talk about another security issue that is insecure data storage. So as we all know that our Android applications stores users data either in internal memory or either in external memory that is SD card. So what happen is in this issue that is insecure data storage sometimes our application or our developers stores user sensitive information without encrypting. So if you don't know what is encryption, so encryption means converting a plain text into a cipher text. So cipher text is a text which actually can't be understand or can't be readable by a normal user. So if an application is actually storing users data like username, password, auth tokens in a plain text in any Android application, in anywhere in Android, then what happen is another application can access that information in a plain text too. So you can see here that the application might store data in share preference folders, databases, temporary files, external storage and etc. Now let's have a look at insecure data storage issue in Deva. So you can see here, here is our issue that is insecure data storage issue part 1 and our objective is that we have to find out that where and how our credentials are actually being stored by this application. So you can see here that this application or this issue is actually asking us for entering a username and a password and if we enter a username and password and if we click on save then we will see that what actually happened in our system. Now let's have a look at another kind of security issue that is insecure data storage in Deva. So you can see here that my Janimotion is up and running and here is our application Deva. So let me open this application. So as I told you earlier that why insecure data storage happen when the Android developer ends up storing user sensitive data like username, password in a plain text rather than storing that data as a encrypted text or a cipher text. So we will see that how insecure data storage works in Deva. So you can see here that here is one challenge that is insecure data storage part 1. So let me open it up. So if you look at this challenge, it actually asking us for entering the username and a password. So if I write here username admin and the password is secret password and if I click on save, you can see here that the third party credentials are saved successfully, which means our username which we have entered and the password is actually saved somewhere in Android application. Now let's have a look at the objective. So we have to find out that where and how our credentials are being stored and we have to find out the vulnerable code. So as I told you earlier that if Android developer is actually storing users sensitive data in a plain text so that may result as insecure data storage vulnerability because any other application can actually access that data and can compromise that data. Now we will see that where our application is storing this data. So you can see here that my Santuku VM operating system is up and running. So let me sign in and you can see here that right now I am connected with my Jenny motion. Here you can see. So in the last video we actually created our jar file which we will use in order to figure out the source code of this Android application that is Deva. So let me go here to my desktop and you can see here that here is that jar file. So now let's analyze this jar file by using JDG so that we can figure out the source code of that particular challenge. So let me expand this up and you can see here a package name called as jaka.aseam.deva and that challenge name is insecure data storage part 1. So let's go back. And you can see here there is one activity called as insecure data storage one activity. So let me click over here and on the right hand side you can see the entire source code of this activity. Now let's see that what actually happening is. So here is one method called as save credentials and it's actually saving the credentials in shared preference folder. So you can see here it's a preference manager. So as I told you earlier that some of the Android application stores data in shared preferences like in some of the application store in databases, temporary files, even they also store data on external storage like SD cards. But here the thing to be noticed is that our username and our password is actually stored in shared preferences directory. So now we will see that whether our data is stored as a plain text or a cipher text. 
now let's go to the adb shell and you can see here that right now inside my adb shell now let's go inside data slash data so that we can figure out the package name of that application so the package name of that application is jaka.aseam.deva so let's go there and you can see here that here is one directory called as shared prefs inside this package so let's go there hit ls and you will see that there is one file called as jaka.aseam.deva preferences.xml file which means it's a XML file and now we will see that what actually present inside that file so let me write here cat and now let's have a look at this file and you can see here that here is our XML file and here is our username and password so if you remember then we have entered username as an admin and we have entered a password as secret password which means it's a security concern it's a security issue that this application is not storing username and password in encrypted text whereas it's storing the username and password in a plain text so this is how the insecure data storage actually works so in this video we have talked about that what is insecure data storage and we have seen that how an application actually saves username and password in shared preference without encrypted that text so I recommend you that if you are an Android developer, please don't store ad any sensitive information, whether it's a credential or token session IDs in a plain text anywhere in the Android application. So thanks for watching this video.